welcome to Two Minute Teacher Tech. I am Amy from Teach With Wings, and today I'm going to talk to you about how we can keep our students from cheating on our Microsoft Forms. So the first thing you want to do is come over here to Settings. And here we can change a lot of things that just makes it a little tougher for students to cheat. Now we have so many e-learners right now, uh, students learning from home either full time or a few days a week, and we can't be right there to be completely sure that they're not cheating. But we can put a few settings into place that makes it a little harder for them to do so. The first one is this toggle switch here. You want to make sure it's toggled off like mine is. And this keeps students from seeing the results immediately after the quiz, maybe when someone else is still taking the quiz. If they're not completely sure about the results and their correct answers, it makes it harder for them to share those with others. Also, you may want to use a start date and end date and start time and end time. If you are giving students a quiz and tell them that you have packed this quiz full and that they will not have time to Google every question before the time is up um, or text their friend all the time for each question, uh, that will tend to keep them on task knowing that if they do those things, they won't have time to get through the quiz. Uh, make sure you tell your students, though, that if the time is up, it will close and it will not accept the response and you won't get anything that they've done. Okay, so you want to make sure that you tell them they must submit before that time or they won't, uh, you won't have anything to grade. Another option is this shuffle questions here. This is really nice because while one student's, a student opens it and they're in a certain order, the next student who opens it, it will be in a different order. So I can't just text my friend and say number one is A, number two is C, uh, because we have questions in different orders. If there ever were any questions that you didn't want to be shuffled in, you can select that as well. Another way you can keep them on their toes a bit is to come over here where your questions are. And if you click here on the ellipsis here, you can choose to shuffle the options. Now this is something you would have to go in and change that setting for each question individually uh, for any questions that you're open to the options being shuffled. That way here, when the first student opens it, maybe their letter A answer is a different student's letter C. That way I can't just, again, say number one is A, number two is C, because our options are different. So those are just a few things we can do to make it a little bit more difficult for our students to cheat uh, when they're away from us especially. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.